No, dude, I'm telling you, man. This this new Star Wars trilogy I'm reading about right now, it's going to be incredible. Force Awakens, J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson. Are you kidding me, dude? This is going to be the best Star Wars trilogy, hands down. The fans are going to love it. The best. Are we ready? All right, we're good to go? All right, let's do this thing. Monty Williams was fired by the New Orleans Pelicans today, and trust me when I say it was the exact right move. Yes, this is an offseason where Dell Dim cited continuity and chemistry, so it may seem like it doesn't make any sense, but we have to believe Dimps when he tells us that Gentry, not Monty Williams, despite coming off the playoffs, is the man to take the New Orleans Pelicans to the next level. Ah! God, so stupid! Dude, dude, 2020, bro. 2020 is going to be so sick. Did you see the holidays? How they line up on the calendar? I'm talking like every holiday lines up with the weekend to maximize days off. Shit's going to be great. I'm telling you. Good? All right, let's do this. New Pelicans GM David Griffin has announced that he will retain Alvin Gentry as New Orleans Pelicans head coach. I think this makes all the sense in the world. Look, I, I, I know he has a horrible record outside of the one season, but that's okay. The real problem here was Del Demps. He wasn't empowering Alvin Gentry for success. Big trust, double down guarantee. David Griffin and Alvin Gentry are going to do massive things together. Stupid, 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 stupid. The Bucks, the the no, dude, no, dude, don't talk, no, don't, don't talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tom Brady. The Saints already beat him twice. Tom's old, Bruce is old. It's over, bro. I don't want, I, I don't want to talk about the Bucks. They suck. Okay, I want to talk about the New Orleans Pelicans. Are we ready to go? All right, let's do this thing. After a long and drawn-out process, the New Orleans Pelicans have finally found their next head coach in Stan Van Gundy. That's right. Gone is Alvin Gentry. He was too soft, too much as a player's coach, absolutely not the right man for the job. Not like Stan the man. Because when you look at Van Gundy, he's got incredible experience, a stellar playoff resume, great overall career coaching record, and him and David Griffin seem to be on the exact same page philosophically, trust me when I say this is finally it. There is absolutely no way that this doesn't work out. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Dude, I'm so hyped COVID's finally over, bro. I mean, full stadiums, back, fall, football. Let's go, dude. Your boy's hyped. Super hyped. All right, you ready to do this video, though? All right, here we go. <clears throat> On Thursday, Willie Green was announced as a new New Orleans Pelicans head coach, and I could not be more excited. Now wait, I know what you're saying. You're saying, T-Bob Brown, don't try to kick that ball again. But wait, but wait, trust me, stick around, please. This time, it's real. And I'll tell you why. David Griffin is out here putting on a master class in avoiding the sunken cost fallacy. Despite the fact that just a year ago, we hired Stan Van Gundy, Gave Steven Adams a huge extension and traded for Eric Bledsoe. He has now divested himself from these bad decisions. Is it a horrible look? Yes. Did you have to give up some valuable resources to make it happen? Yes. But the price you would have paid if you had stuck with these bad investments would have been far greater. Essentially, David Griffin is fading himself. And that's why I get excited about this hire. So basically, David Griffin is being painfully honest with himself about the bad decisions he has made and riding the ship for the future. And that's why I find this Willie Green hire so fascinating. It appears on the surface as if David Griffin is fading David Griffin. So rather than sticking with his natural instincts and hiring an experienced winner like David Blatt or, or, or an old experienced retread like Alvin Gentry or Stan Van Gundy or somebody he's familiar with, he has ended up with a 39-year-old first-time head coach that when you look at his resume, starts to feel a lot like the only successful head coach hire in Griffin's history. The parallels between Ty Lue and Willie Green are pretty fascinating. Think about it. 
Both are longtime veteran NBA grinders who command the respect of their peers and had to work their way through the assistant coaching ranks before finally getting their big break. Ty Lu is now considered one of the top coaches in the NBA. In a few years, we might think of Willie Green in the same vein. After his third year of college basketball, Willie Green had a meeting with his head coach. Do you know what he told Willie Green? He said, son, I've coached NBA players. I've seen him. And you're not one. You need to start thinking about careers outside of playing in the NBA. You know what Willie Green did? He went and got in the gym. He got bigger, stronger, faster. He jumped that score on average from 13 to 22, and he made himself into a second-round NBA pick. That's all well and good, though, right? We've seen plenty of second-round picks flame out. Willie Green made it 12 years in the league. That, to me, speaks to someone who is intrinsically motivated. Someone who, as if they are going to fail, it will not be because of a lack of hard work. I like giving that sort of character their first big break as an NBA head coach. After retiring, he joined the Golden State Warriors as an assistant head coach. He was there for three seasons. He saw two won championships and one lost championship. He saw the top of the NBA. Where did he go next? To the Phoenix Suns where he had a first-hand seat for one of the most remarkable rises in recent NBA history. As he watched the Monty Williams-led Phoenix Suns go from being at the bottom of the NBA to two games away from winning the NBA Finals. What fascinating perspective to gain as he will look to affect a similar rise right here in New Orleans. Little side note, I love that some of the influence of Monty Williams will be felt through Willie Green. Monty probably should have never been fired in the first place. But back to Willie Green. At 39 years old, I really do feel he is perfectly suited to lead this young nucleus of Pelican players. For all the talk of Griffin and SVG being on the same page philosophically when the hire was originally made, it was clear that they had vastly different core values when it comes to the correct way to coach and manage a team. SVG, very results oriented. Nothing else matters, the wins and losses speak for themselves. David Griffin, more relationship oriented. If you build a positive culture, you build a place where people want to come in and work, are actively happy to be there, then the wins follow. If you watched Willie Green's OBD press conference, he too talked about that. That it starts with player trust, player relationships, establishing that trust, and then once you have that, you can hold guys accountable. You can get them to listen to you. You get them to maybe even buy in defensively, Pelicans. And that's when you start playing winning basketball. Unless you think this is just me, the, 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 the Charlie Brown of NBA talk, the man who has been wrong at every single turn with the Pelicans, it's not just me hyping up Willie Green. How about Chris Paul, one of the greatest point guards of all time? Quote, he'll be the most humble, prepared coach you will ever see in your life. I can't even imagine right now playing and him being a head coach, but I'm unbelievably happy for the opportunity he may get. So look, am I an idiot for buying in again? Yeah. I probably am, okay? But when I look at Willie Green, I see a coach who is young, who is hungry, and who is perfectly positioned to establish that trust with his very talented young nucleus and lead this team, not just this season, but for years to come. What say you? Get in the comments. Tell me how dumb I am. Charlie Brown. Oh, I get it. I get it. Bring it on. So keep it locked right here on Off the Bench Overtime. Like it. Subscribe. Hit the bell for when we drop new videos. We got big things planned. Flocka!